Stephen Paul Jobs was born on February 24, 1955, in San Francisco, California. In his early years, young Steve was exposed to many computer and electrical engineers living near him in Silicon Valley. And at just 13 years old, he met 18-year-old Stephen Wozniak, who would forever change his life. After dropping out of college after just one semester, Steve met up with Wozniak again to work on his new project. The two were pioneers in personal computing and, after convincing Wozniak to start a company, created Apple Computer on April 1st, 1976. The months following were filled with creating Apple One and Apple Two computers. At age 25, after the booming success, Jobs' net worth was now over 200 million, a feat not many can accomplish at that age. In 1981, Steve became head of the small project called Macintosh. It took Jobs and his team three years to develop the system, and the system was launched on January 24, 1984. Though the first few months of sales were very successful, the sales dropped in early 1985. The months following, Jobs had disputes with CEO John Scully and left the company on September of the same year. After he left, Jobs went on to create the next machines until 1995 when the company tanked due to lack of sales for the powerful and expensive machines. During the same time, Jobs acquired a spin-off of Lucasfilms known as Pixar, owning 80% of the company and upon release of Toy Story, saw a new net worth of $1.5 billion, five times more than he ever made at Apple. In early 1996, the new CEO of Apple, Gil Emilio, bought all of Next, and Steve was back in the company he founded. Apple went on to lose $700 million in the first quarter of 1997 with Emilio, and Jobs became Apple's interim CEO in September of the same year. In the years that followed, Apple went on to create the popular iMac in 1998 and the Mac OS X in 2000. Then, on October 23, 2001, Jobs had created Apple's version of the portable music device we all know and love, the iPod. This device drove Apple to be the well-known company that it is today. After years of success with the products, Jobs began a secret project to develop a tablet. However, after he realized such touchscreen technology could be used in a phone instead, he transferred the idea to the phone, and on January 9, 2007, the first iPhone was released, one of Jobs' best and most memorable keynotes of his entire career. The new phone was a breakthrough in phone technology and sold a staggering $6 million with a $399 price tag during its run. Since then, both the iPod and iPhone, along with the iPad and iCloud, have grown increasingly in the processing power and continue to be an unrivaled success. Sadly, years before in 2003, Jobs was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Though he dissolved any disputes that he was still ill after claiming to be cured in 2005, Jobs' health deteriorated greatly in June 2008 when the cancer re-emerged. In January 2011, Jobs stated he would take a medical leave and the day after the announcement of the iPhone 4S, which he watched from his deathbed, Steve Jobs died on October 5th, 2011 at his home. Jobs was a pioneer, a philanthropist, and a dreamer whose legacy will live on for leading the world in the personal computing era.